Hi, my name's Ian, um, and today I'm going to show you how to polish the chip out of this paperweight. Okay, now I don't know if you can see the chip there, it's just here. It's not a very big chip, it's, um, it goes a little deep. Okay, so you need to study the chip quite carefully and also the shape of the weight. Once we get going we want to keep that shape. Um, we don't want any flat spots. We will be removing the glass so we will alter the shape very slightly but we want to make it almost unnoticeable. Or unnoticeable. What I'm going to do during the process of doing this chip, I've got a little diamond point um, here at my Dremel set. I'm just going to put a light scratch across the top so that as we go along I can take that scratch out first just to show you if you've got paperwork with just a light scratch on how quick and easy it can be. So with this diamond tip, very slight pressure, I'm just going to put a scratch across there. Right. I don't know if you can pick that up with a camera or twist it round so you can pick up the scratch, yeah? Okay, so the first stage would be, we'll forget about the chip and I'm gonna remove the scratch. So if you've got a scratch paperweight, you know how to do it and you know how quick and simple it can be using this kit. Okay, okay. Now the first thing you're gonna need out of the kit uh, for this project is um, silicon carbide sheets um, that come in the kit. There's two pieces in the kit 400 grit and 600 grit. The 600 grit is a finer 400. We'll use 400. We're going to use that to get the chip out. Um, but for the moment we'll use a 600 just to take the scratches out. I'm going to use on half of the scratch, this side, whichever side, I shall use a 600 grit wet and dry to remove the scratch. On the other side I'm just going to use the coarse powder. It will take a lot longer but I just want to do it to show you what this coarse powder can do if you've got other projects and you don't want to use the wet and dry for. I always turn my um, pieces into discs, which I put onto a mandrel. The mandrel doesn't come with the kit, uh, but you can buy them in a hobby shop, uh, packs of three, four, whatever. Some point in the future, I hope to be able to get some in um, and, and sell them, but at the moment I don't. Um, I do sell packs of the discs uh, in packs of 10 that will go to my uh, eBay and uh, you'll be able to see them on there. Good. Okay. okay, I'm going to do uh, this half of the scratch that I've made earlier uh, using the, um, the coarse powder. I've masked it off because as you're working with the drill you will cross over um, to this one. I don't want to take anything off of that because we want to do that in a different method. I mixed this down about five minutes ago and I've had the mop soaking in there. I prefer chamois mops. Most kits do um, use felt but I actually prefer the chamois. Um, it takes on the shape. I'll show you later anyway. And once you've given it a good soak, plenty of water and because it's the four layers you've got lots of grit trap between the layers and that helps with the process. It will take longer to do it with just with the course here than it will um, later on when we use the wet and dry followed by the course. But this is just to demonstrate that you can. A lot of people are frightened to use the wet and dry because it does make it look a lot worse before it gets better. But uh, it will get better. Okay, well, I'm about to turn the machine on and I'll uh, turn this away from you because I want it towards me. Just, I always run the Dremel as slow as possible. I'll use this on uh, 5,000 revs. Some machines will only go down to 8 but that's okay, that's fine. But the slower you do it, the better because it keeps the granules in place and doesn't throw them off. We 
been doing this half for about 40 minutes now and as you can see it's almost gone but we haven't taken all the way down but it's just enough to show you the difference between what we haven't done yet and this bit 40 minutes I would not normally take a deep scratch like that or a coarse scratch and use coarse powder I would normally bring it down first using wet and dry and that's what we're going to do in a minute and do the lot okay thanks okay when you get the um, the wet and dry it is very this stuff that I use is, is very it's hessian backed and it's uh, good quality stuff um, when you get it and if you cut it out of a disc or buy my discs what it's whatever they are very stiff when you're using it two things to remember don't let the metal part of the um, screw touch the glass so you use it at an angle and when you first get it it's very stiff so you only want to go in one direction because if you go forward the edge could dig into the glass so to start with just sweep it that way once you've been using it a while the edges become quite soft and flexible then you can start going backwards and forwards right I'm going to take these scratches out using the 600 grit that you'll find in the kit with a new um, disc I don't back it at all to give it the flexibility that we need and it's purely a case of plenty of water keep the area wet and here comes the noise. We've got it on this got this on eight thousand revs. And just literally feed the scratch out. Now, just to show you how far we've got. Now, the scratch is virtually gone. I can just see a little mark there. We have got a little bit left. Um, this one's gone now completely. In fact, we've taken quite a bit of the chip down. But can you see that? Can you see that? It's, it's almost gone. Um, you know, we could go to the course now and just finish off that last bit, but I'm not. I should just give it a go. And that's taken a couple of minutes. So in actual fact, a couple of minutes using the wet and dry has saved us 40 minutes worth of work just using the course. Okay, now I've done it a couple of minutes more with the uh, uh, 600 grit wet and dry, and I think you can see now the scratches are totally gone. That's it. We're left with a... Um, a blurred patch there obviously left from the wet and dry and we're going to get that blur out using the course and we know the course can do it because the course has already taken a scratch out so these easy peasy with the uh, course grip okay right we're going to get the drill on now Damp some powder on there give it a bit and just do half seconds less than a minute it's not going to be done but I think you can see I hope you can see 
the difference between the two. I'm just going to polish this up, yeah. and then we'll go back to the chip and start again. Okay, plenty of water. This polish will have plenty of water. Bring this right up now. Right. Where are we? Where's the chip? Oh, there's the chip. Can you see it? And uh, that's not a bad result. Okay. Now, we've got rid of the scratch. We've polished it up nicely. <laughs> now we're going to mess it up again because we want to take the chip out. And luckily for us, the chip has quite been been reduced by taking the scratches out. I'm going to do this one um, with 400 grit. The, the scratch we've done with 600. Uh, I'm going to take this one with 400, followed by 600, and then polish down. Exactly the same as before. Once again, exactly the same as for the scratch. We're going to be using the disc. Make sure that we don't dig in. Make sure we don't catch the metal part and plenty of water. Okay, plenty of water as before. I'm going to take this down to 500 again. And here we go. Keep it moving all the time. Don't let it flat spot, and the deeper you go, the wider you go out. No pressure. Let the wet and dry do the job. You've come out quite a weight, and that is in order to keep the integrity of the weight. Now, if I pick it up and spin it slightly, you will see. I can't see any change in shape there at all. Nope, I'm quite happy with that shape. It looks good. What we've done uh, is 400 grit will leave. That is quite scratched. It's quite coarse scratching. We could polish down from 400 grit. I'm quite happy to polish from 400 grit, but we'll take it to 600 grit um, as it's in the kit. And that will make uh, polishing easier and also we'll take out that last piece of the chip okay right what we need to do as well with the 600 grit is come out to an area just slightly larger than the area we've already done just to make sure we take this feathering edge away if we try and do the same size it always happens just around the edge you've just got a bit of feather in there so we're going to start now with 400 grit uh, 600 grit And here we go again. Start around the edge and work in. Right, here we have the weight now has been uh, polished with the 600 grit. All ground with the 600 grit. And as you can see, the chip is gone, um, it's fairly good shape still, that was a good shape, not a fairly good shape. We're going to go on to the uh, coarse grit now, which is going to start the polishing process. And exactly the same as we did before, it is just purely a case of water, polishing powder, if I can keep it on, and let's go. Okay, I've just done that for about uh, five minutes, and as you can see, we've polished this area. Look, that's coming up quite nicely. I'm going to move on now, just a centimetre over. I've marked it again here, 
and here, and I'm just going to do a strip down this one. Okay, we've we've done the whole of this paperweight now with um, with the coarse grit. Uh, you can see there's a little bit dull there um, around, but it's, 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 we've just got to finish now. Um, I'm going to go on to the, um, the next grade. As I said earlier, um, when you get to the latter stages of polishing, I mean that looks pretty good uh, at the moment to the naked eye. But when you look under the uh, jeweler's loop, you can see some few small marks um, left by the grit, uh, by the um, abrasive. So we're going to do exactly the same as we did before. Have a good look, see where you want to do, and then. Just mark off a strip and do a strip at a time um, so we don't miss anything. And we're going to go back to the course now just to take these ones out. Okay, thank you. And I think you'll agree that that is now ready just for the final polish. And that's what we're going to do now. Quick squirt. Dab the old polish on there. There we have a nice polished chip free paperweight.